What's happening guys? UFC 279, we're gonna do a breakdown and predictions only for a few fights. Come here for everybody! Kill everybody! Yeah, we'll keep it short. Uh, it's probably not the most star-powered event. Obviously, you've got the, the, the headliner with uh, Chimaev and, and Nate Diaz. Obviously, both big, big names. No title uh, fight on the line, but so there will be a lot of people checking into that, which is going to be uh, a good fight. Hey, I'm not surprised. An interesting one as well. Uh, in interesting matchup with, uh, you know, how that all went down, but we'll get into that. Uh, so let's just get straight into it, man. Let's get into it. I'm going to try and give you a, a breakdown, a, a little bit uh, of information. I won't get too technical and... And, uh, you know, maybe maybe some predictions on some of those as well. We'll do Kevin Holland and uh, Daniel Rodriguez. So Kevin Holland, we know a bit about him. Daniel Rodriguez, uh, he's a tidy boxer. I know he likes his uh, striking. I remember watching him, uh, his last fight. I don't know if it was against Mike Perry. I've seen it, obviously, in a few fights, but one that I can remember. Mike Perry, I think. He has some tidy, tidy boxing. Kevin Holland's dangerous. The way he punches. And he looked great in his last fight as well. So he's pretty resilient. He's uh, confident. You really want the smoke? Let's get the smoke. Uh, he knows how to, to, to get a finish and he will go looking for it. So that's why he's always a, a safe bet. Kevin Holland's a favorite. Yeah, I think I think that's uh, definitely worth it. You've got Daniel Rodriguez, who's the underdog, but he's, a, he's tidy. I can see if there's a, if, if I had to give Daniel Rodriguez a win, I'd go by decision. I think that will, that will be paying a half decent purely to get that little bit more. Uh, with the with your with your money because I don't know if I can see him finishing Kevin Holland I think Kevin Holland can be pretty uh, durable so uh, I would say that would be a pretty good bet Kevin Holland I think uh, could definitely get the finish he's dangerous man and he's uh, un unorthodox he's unpredictable so they're, they're always good people to bet on for KOs and things like that just purely because They'll throw some uh, crazy things in there, even submissions, you know, for a guy like him, he'll get someone hurt and he'll go for something as well, I could see it, but you know, I'd probably go with TKO KO for, uh, for Kevin Holland. So uh, I won't break it down too much, because I probably don't know enough about him. I've watched enough to know that anything can happen. If I had to lean towards someone, it probably is Kevin Holland. Uh, with Daniel Rodriguez, though, but I've got a feeling that the, the, the decision Going for the decision win is a, a pretty good bet too. So if I had to pick uh, my favorite bet out of that, could be that. Or let's go KO for uh, Kevin Holland. But let's go with Leach and Tony Ferguson. Another interesting one. I know uh, Dan Hooker was uh, trying to call for uh, for Tony Ferguson. That would have been great if that happened. But uh, they've got the Leach and uh, Tony Ferguson going at it. So how do I think this one's going to go, man? They've got, uh, they've got Tony Ferguson as the underdog. Which he uh, by a fair bit too. So uh, I'm uh, a little surprised at that. Obviously, the leech looked great in his last fight, but I thought Tony Ferguson was looking great in his last fight too. You know, obviously he got tagged and tagged hard. You know, with that uh, that front kick from Chandler. Whew. Damn, you know that was nasty. But I thought he was looking good. The pressure he was putting on, he was looking a little unpredictable. I felt like, I don't know, the drive was there. I felt like there was something there. I was watching that and I was like, oh man, like I thought there was, I actually predicted uh, a devastating KO. That's what I said by, by chance. For the pick, I'm gonna have to go with that. I don't think it's paying much, but a finish for Chandler is uh, the only way I see this fight going. I started watching, I go, oh man, I don't know, man. If he keeps this up, that might be it. Like the way he was doing it, I can see people breaking from that. So uh, and if, if that Ferguson comes out, I think that's uh, a Ferguson you could bet on. You know, uh, definitely. Again, he, you know, he showed that he has been getting tagged and things aren't going. He, you know, he's a he's a crazy fella. Uh, he does some crazy things and uh, he's crazy training and whatnot. But again, that's what's always made him dangerous as well because he's very unpredictable. Le uh, Leach looked good in his last fight. So, ah uh, man, who do I got? Man, I'm gonna go with the, the underdog here. I'm going with Tony Ferguson purely because he's the underdog. Uh, I'll be betting on him. Sports bet. I'll be betting. I'll definitely be betting on something there. Like, I don't know. I'll see what, what we got. Maybe the decision. I feel like it can go to, you know, three rounds. I think uh, Leech is pretty tough. Submission might be worth it. You know what I mean? See, I'm, 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 I'm chatting to you guys, but while I'm chatting, I'm, I'm having a good think about this because, you know, I'm thinking of what I'm going to bet. I might even go for a, you know, especially what he's paying, I might go for the submission or, or the TKO. TKO. I can see both happening. Put the pressure on and then eventually wrap something up. Maybe get him wobbled and then just jump on something. Let's go. Let's go submission. I'm feeling submission for Tony Ferguson. Might bring him back, you know what I mean? He needs a win. 
But let's move on to the main event. Chumayev, Nate Diaz. I think this is still going to be a fun fight. It's interesting. <laughs> like, look at the, again, Chumayev a favorite. I think he should obviously be a favorite. But this is wide, wide gap. You know what I mean? And uh, I think it's fair. But let, let's let's break it down. Let's let's look. Let's think of uh, Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz, very durable, very very durable. Do I think uh, Chimaev's knocking him out? No, you ain't knocking uh, Nate Diaz out. This is five rounder as well. Let's remember that. You were not knocking out Nate Diaz, so I, I can't see that. And then submission, right? He's, he he trains with some of the best uh, grapplers in the world. Like he, he's uh, known for his jujitsu. So again, do I think uh, Chimaev is going to ragdoll him and grab him, throw him around a bit? Yeah, 100%. Can he do that for five rounds? You know, when he gets a, when he tires a little bit, can Nate Diaz pull something later in later in the fight? Especially with these these odds, I can see it. When you got someone so durable, is there a sneaky bet in there? You know, I might go for a sneaky bet just purely because of how much it's paying. Percentage wise, who do I think's winning? Chimaev. I'll tell you that straight out. But you ain't getting nothing for that. You know what I mean? You ain't getting much money there. So let's go a little, let's dig a little deeper. Let's let's get let's go a long shot. You know, do you bet really, really big on Chimaev? Yeah, but is that worth it when you, you got someone like Nate Diaz? Again, knowing that he is so durable, he's fit, he's gonna be there, he's gonna eat it. You know, you might ragdoll him, but will Chimaev submit him? That's the question. Is is Chimaev gonna submit him? Is he gonna knock him out? They're two hard tasks. Let's be real. And uh, then you look at, all right, so it's going to be a decision. Five rounds. Nate Diaz always comes strong in the end. Can he do it? Chamayev, 100%. Can he win all five rounds and, and things like that? Yeah. But that's when you start thinking, oh, wait a second. There might be something here. There might be something here, like especially with what it's paying. So... A sneaky bet. I'm putting a, a sneaky bet. I am very, very sneaky. Sorry. Maybe a late round finish, or even because it's paying so so good, or Nate Diaz finding a win. Whether he can somehow do it with decision, because uh, you know maybe uh, Chamayev gasses out after the couple of rounds and he brings it back, and a late finish is it worth it there? Or like, man, I might, I might, I might throw that in there. I'm definitely going there. So again, if I had to tell you, I thought straight away it's a bad matchup for for Nate Diaz purely because of how much of an animal Chamayev is, but. At the same time, Diaz is a very durable, tough dude, and he's going to be there. And you ain't submitting him. You ain't KOing him. And if Chamayev does that, that'll boost him right up. This is a big fight for him to really put him superstar status because he's pretty much there. So this is going to be a very interesting fight, especially with what it's paying. I'm going to be tuning in. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Hopefully I gave you a little bit of the inside of what I think. And I hope I gave you a, a little look at when you're uh, at least betting on these or looking into this. Start weighing up the options, you know, people's fitness, durability, you know, and things like that, because that can really come into play, especially later in the round. So let's see if uh, any of them little uh, tips uh, can help you out with some of your bets. Thank you again. If you've got sports bet, uh, they're my guys. I'll be betting there. But if not, enjoy the show. I'll be tuning in. Till next time, see ya.